All right, what's going on guys? Today's the day. We're gonna be installing the cam in this thing and uh, we already got the heads put back together and cleaned. I'm gonna do a little bit more cleaning. I just cleaned all the block and the mating surfaces and stuff like that. So let's bust this cam out real quick. Okay, now this camshaft has lubricant on it already. So we need to clean that off a bit. I like to do soak a rag and some brake clean and just get after it. So. Okay, now in the interest of not wasting a ton of uh, assembly lube, because I need to go get some more, but for now I'm just going to lube the, the bearing journals, and then later I'll go through and lube the um, the lobes, just because I don't have a lot left. Yes. There we go. Now I can gently slide the cam in through the bearings. I don't have to bang it around too much. The new bearings. There we go. All right, camshaft is in, you guys. We spin freely. So now we throw that re retainer plate on there, torque them down. All right, so <clears throat> these bolts are countersunk. They don't all come like that, but uh, you know, if you're gonna be running like a double roller timing set, then these come in handy. I'm not gonna be doing that here, so I don't really need the countersunk ones, but they were, um, it was a good deal, so. Yeah, these get torqued to 18 foot-pounds, but what I'm gonna do first is throw a little bit of um, lube on the front of this, a little bit of assembly lube. The reason why we replace these is because this little seal is integrated into this metal piece here. These get extremely flat and they can cause oil pressure issues because if this leaks, it's not going to leak out of your engine, but it'll leak back into the oil pan and stuff like that. But always replace these when you're rebuilding an engine or even if you just get a junkyard engine, I always grab a new one of these. They're fairly cheap. So. There we go. Camshaft installed. Uh, now we can do the crankshaft. 